In this tutorial, we'll learn about how to insert tables into D2L, Desire to Learn, and also the copy table from Microsoft Words and paste it into D2L. So first, I'll cover off how to create a table in D2L. I'll open my browser into D2L. After logging into your course, you should have this menu here. I'll click into communication, then discussions. Within the discussion, choose the topic that you would like to post your table into. Then I'll click compose. A window will pop up, uh, creating a new message. We'll answer something random for the test subject. And in the body, you'll notice that there are two tabs. Uh, perhaps by default, yours is on basic, but I like to keep it in advanced, uh, just so there's more. Uh, there are more options uh, for me to select from. Now, to create a table, you'll notice that there's this icon right here uh, beside font size. So we'll click that. Another mini window will pop up. I'll ask you how many columns and rows you want in the table. So I'll create a 3x3 three three table. Okay. And then click insert. And there's your table. Um, it may look a little bit squishy right now, so we'll put in some stuff. Just gonna use numbers to illustrate this. Okay, so here you can see that the table slightly expand uh, as I start to start to type in it. But however, you can just scale it uh, using one of these nodes here. Just scale it as big as you want, um, and then you can format the the text like you normally do within each cell. Okay, so enlarge the font size just a bit bigger so we can see better. Um, okay, so here we have a 3x3 three three table. Now, I, let's say we want to put a border around uh, the 5 cell. Okay, so the 5555 five, five, five cell. I would right click the white space in the cell that I want to put a border around. Uh, once I get this menu, go to cell and then table cell properties. And then within this window, I can choose the alignment. Um, and then under the advanced tab, there is border color here. Uh, North by default, it is white. So I can just click on that and then select black apply and before I click update here there's a not drop down that allows me to change it apply it to the current cell or the column the entire row or the entire table so I'm just going to do cell for this example update and here you can see that the is a border around this cell now, what if we want to merge um, cells together? So let's say I want to merge uh, the cell number one, number two, and number three together. I would right click the white space in the number one cell, go to cell again, and then instead of clicking uh, table cell property, I'll go down to merge table cells. Um, and then it will ask me, uh, with respect to this cell, how many table cells do I want to merge either vertically or horizontally? So because we want to merge cell 1, 2, and 3 together, we want to merge horizontally over 3 columns and none for uh, non-vertically, so we'll leave row at 1. 
click update so here you can see that we get the desired result um, where three columns are merged into that one particular row notice that all the data are merged together as well so I would recommend uh, merging your cells before you start typing data into the cell all right so this is the detail portion on how to create a table now what if we want to paste a table from Microsoft Word so I'll go ahead and delete this uh, table I'll go into Word so here I have a pre-made pre-made a table uh, which I would like to copy and paste into D2L. So I'll select the table, right click, copy. We'll go back to D2L. Instead of just pasting right into this body, it will give you an error message. So what you want to do is uh, look for this icon here that says paste from Word. We'll click into that. It will give you a uh, blank space for you to paste your table into. So it says use control V, but we can just right click and paste. And there's the table, insert, and there you go. And that's the table in the post itself. And again, you can do the formatting uh, as we have discussed it previously. So this concludes the tutorial for inserting table, but if you have any question regarding table, you can always email me at andrewlee at Thank you for watching.